Rod, Jane, and Freddy. Number one, I never plan to make any of these videos 30 minutes long. I just have a lot to talk about and wanted to address as much as I can, that's all. I try to keep them as short as possible, but these series feature so much for me to talk about and I want everyone to understand the problems I'm addressing by mentioning everything that I can. Most of my viewers and subscribers are not from the UK, so they don't know what Postman Pat or Classic Fireman Sam is, so I'm explaining as much as I can for my viewers from America or Canada or wherever. Number 2. People are saying that I shouldn't be ranting about reboots like Bob the Builder because either they're not connected to the original series or that I should judge the reboot on its own. Well, I'm sorry, but if there's a reboot or a remake or a continuation of anything, whether it be for kids shows, movies, games or whatever, Everyone is going to compare them to the original, no matter what. Everyone is going to compare the characters from DuckTales to the versions from the original, or the comic books. Everyone is going to compare the humor and action, or lack thereof, from the Ben 10 reboot to the original. Everyone is going to compare the gameplay from the Insane Trilogy to the original Crash Bandicoot. And the same goes to Spyro later this year. What I'm saying is that it's really hard to judge the reboot or remake by its own merit if it's based on something that already exists. Most people are going to look at or remember the originals and realize how better, questionable or worse the reboot looks when compared to them. And number three... I shouldn't be ranting or talking about shows that are aimed towards toddlers or young children in general because I am not the audience these shows are intended for. <sighs> Where have you all been in the past decade? Lots of people near the age of 20 have been talking about shows like this just as much as other people talk about shows like MLP, Steven Universe, or Gravity Falls. Have you ever seen all those review videos from then named Miss Oliver and Blossom and The Unlucky Tug? Well, people like those videos. What about those occasional videos where Cad Icarus, a 24-year-old gamer who reviews games like Kingdom Hearts, Shadow of the Colossus, Resident Evil, and a few others, reviewed a PS1 game of the tweenies and a couple of episodes of Peppa Pig? Yeah, Peppa Pig. The very definition of toddler show. And yet, a lot of people still like those videos. Not just because of the comedy, but he and the others I've mentioned bring up a lot of good points in their arguments about these shows. And why are we reviewing these kinds of shows in the first place? Well, if you wouldn't mind, I'm gonna play a few clips here. And yes, like I had to say in every video where I'm talking about something that's made for kids or suitable for kids, please do not tell me I can't complain because I'm not the target audience, because this shit is made by adults, and I just don't think it's very well made at all. Older fans have a better appreciation of what the show was than we did when we were children. A 4-year-old, a 14-year-old, and a 24-year-old could each watch the same episode and take away a different appreciation from it. Shows like Barney and Teletubbies are only enjoyable to small children. When we get older, we don't appreciate them because there is no substance to them. Thomas is not like this. What I hate about the CGI series, it's not the animation. That I can deal with. What I hate about the CGI series is the writing. Now, let me say this. I do agree that the show might be enjoyable to a younger demographic. I get that. But you know what? That doesn't excuse the show for having such bland plots and badly executed morals that are constantly shoved down the kid's throat. And the characters nowadays, they have completely different personalities. Whether they're either made more stupid, more wimpy, or they're made complete assholes. Now, I do get it. It is a kid's show. I understand. 
but they completely abandon realism and common logic, and the lessons are just tagged on. And yes, okay, I can envision all of you at home right now thinking about typing, Oh yes, but Kevin, you deliberately picked out a game that's clearly designed for children, so why are you even complaining? Yes, well, you know what? That's no excuse at all. There still needs to be some sort of quality control with these things. I mean, yes, kids may be very easy to entertain, but they are not stupid. Okay, let me sort of make this clear. I understand some people are might be under the impression they're like, why are you getting so worked up over just a simple fucking children's show? Um, maybe because, I don't know, if I decide to have children of my own, I want them to, you know, sort of be raised on what I was raised, which is mostly the classics, because unlike this piece of shit, the other classic seasons, they weren't just fun, their lessons were actually subtle. Subtle! And, uh... And the newer seasons, either the morals are either non-existent or constantly shoved down your fucking ear! And is that what we want our kids to be raised on? I didn't think so! Yes, there are shows like Barney the Dinosaur or Teletubbies that don't seem to have that much effort put into them and don't seem to hold up years later. Trust me, I've rewatched both of the two Teletubbies videotapes I owned as a kid and let's just say... I didn't like them as much as I thought. But then there are shows like Fireman Sam, Pingu, Postman Pat, Bob the Builder, Wombles, Sooty, and most especially, Thomas the Tank Engine. Those shows are what I like to call family shows. Yes, these shows are aimed towards younger children than children who watch, say, Ninja Turtles, He-Man, or Danny Phantom. But at least the people who work on these shows actually put effort into making them. Whether it be from making enjoyable, unique, fluid animation, like in Pingu or Bob the Builder, creating catchy music we can remember forever, like in Postman Pat, Thomas, or Fireman Sam, having only one or two actors with amazing vocal range doing every voice in the show, like, say, John Alderton in Fireman Sam, Ken Bar Harry in Postman Pat, Bernard Cribbings in The Wombles, or Carlo Bonami in Pingu. But most especially, when they write an enjoyable, logical, humorous, charming story. Like in... Well, all the shows I've mentioned. The story ideas seem really simple on paper, but then in script form, they add references that the parents watching the shows can understand, like mentioning the WI. Or they will have the characters do lots of jobs that they know the children can't do, like an engine driver trying to keep the train moving, or using special equipment for a building project, or using oxygen equipment to save someone in a toxic coal mine. These adult characters were written and were doing jobs as adults in mind, not as kids. And these adult characters can be people the children audience can look up to and say, I want to be like Fireman Sam when I grow up because he knows how to rescue people. And that kind of writing, for the most part, is non-existent in those kinds of shows today. The writing has been downgraded significantly and less things for the parents to relate to as well as to the kids. It's for that reason that I don't consider later seasons or reboots of these shows to be family shows anymore, but just toddler shows. There's a reason these shows have gotten the current reputation they have now. The only exceptions that I can see are Thomas, Pingu, and Sooty. Those shows still at least have some kind of charm in them left. The point is that people like me, Miss Oliver and Blossom, the Unlucky Tug, Cat Icarus, or whoever would normally say that the writing, along with even the animation sometimes, have gone downhill in modern times, and people should really give these shows much better material. And you know what? They did! Well, only in the case of Thomas the Tank Engine. By that point, we have gotten 10 whole years of the same boring, repetitive, stupid, nonsensical writing, animation, and narration, and a lot of Thomas fans were hating the hell out of it, and they just couldn't take it anymore. 
Oh, but it gets better. One of my next door neighbors has an eight year old nephew. He loves Thomas, loves it to death. But even to him, the CGI series makes no goddamn sense. So really? Did he like say anything? Like, like he watched a recent episode, like in season thirteen. He said, "This makes no sense. I hate it." Well, uh, this just shows that little kids, little kids, your main demographic, don't care. So what did they do? They got a new writing team, they put effort, logic, and realism into these stories again, so that means they got rid of characters like the Logging Locos. No more rhyming, no more alliteration, all the characters were back to their normal personalities again, and everything got better and better. And not only did us Thomas fans love watching the show once again, but the kids loved watching the new series too. My final conclusion? The writing should have effort, charm, and logic put into it, and should be written by people who actually understand the source material and love it, instead of just making these things.